Hello again, everybody. So we're going to tackle another weighted average problem. This one is a little bit different. It says copper has two stable isotopes, Cu63 and Cu65. If the masses are 62.929599 and 64.927793 AMU respectively, what are the relative percentage abundances of the two isotopes? The weighted average, ato of ato the weighted average atomic mass is reported as 63.546. So let me see if I can just put that there. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Okay. Yeah. So this reports as this is Cu sixty three, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that the mass, the atomic mass. I'll just say that this one is sixty two point nine five nine two. This one is Cu65. This one is 62.9, sorry, 64.927793 AMU. Cool. So now, right? It says that the weighted average, right? So I'm just going to, going to say, I'll just put it here. So Cu average equals 63.546. Cool. So what am I going to do? First of all, I'm going to go ahead and name my, this is the fraction of percentage of my Cu63. Fraction of, I'll say occurrence. Please spell occurrence. You know, let's let's not embarrass my spelling. Okay, I'm just gonna say fraction of percentage. Of Cu sixty three. And what does that mean? I'm gonna say that this is the fraction of time that Cu sixty three is occurring in nature. Right now. Same thing for CU65. Cool. So now, right, I'm going to try and form a system of equations. And what is that? I basically have two unknowns that I'm looking for. They're asking for this percentage and this percentage, right? Because they have to be given as a percentage. So I'm going to set up a system of equations and I'm going to say, well, I know that these two have to equal to 100%, right? Because we're only dealing with two isotopes. So X plus Y has to equal 1, right? Cool. Now, they've also given me a weighted average. I can use that to set up another um, equation. So I'm going to say 62.9. 929599x plus 64.927793y is equal to my weighted average 63.546 now you can solve this in different ways if you have a TI-36X Pro, which is what I use, or I think most other scientific calculators can do this, um, it can actually solve a system of equations. That's the easy way. If you want to do it by hand, you can go ahead and convert one of these into terms of the other. So I can say that Y is equal to X minus 1, for example. Right? Sorry, 1 minus X, not X minus 1. So now, right, 1 minus x, and then I can go ahead and substitute this in for y and replace every y that I see, which is only 1, as 1 minus x. But I'm not going to do that because that's going to take too much time. But if I go to a system solver on my TI-36X Pro, I can put in these values. So 1x plus 1y 
is equal to or that is equal to one, right? 62.93x plus 64.93y is equal to 63.55, right? And you can go ahead and put these values in exactly if you want to, which is actually what I did, and they rounded it. So I end up coming up with, it says that x is equal to, I'll write it here, 0 0.69. One five and y is equal to zero point three zero eight five. And this is basically saying that you're gonna find your CU sixty three um sixty-nine point one five percent of the time, right? I believe this is copper, right? And you're gonna find that the the CU sixty five thirty point eight five percent of the time. If you notice, these should add up to 100% or one, right? Like we said here. So this is basically saying that this is gonna occur almost, like over two times the, time, the amount of time that this will occur. So that's, that's basically uh, what that is saying. Um, so just try and like, if you have, if you can find your knowns and your unknowns, you can convert those into a system of equations and hopefully that'll be able to let you solve it like that. So um, if anything was unclear, Feel free to uh, ask questions in the comment section and let's keep learning chemistry, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.